Here's some more economic news from the Trump administration concerning the tax bill. Some kind of hidden, I wouldn't say unattended, but hidden consequence. This is from the Washington Post by Dana Milbank. Trump just told the truth he may wish he hadn't. On Wednesday, the 335th day of this of his presidency, Donald J. Trump did something most extraordinary and uncharacteristic. He told the truth. The president, celebrating his $1.5 trillion tax cut with fellow Republicans at the South Portico of the White House, was midway through his remarks when he veered sharply off message. I shouldn't say this, Trump said, but we essentially repealed Obamacare. No, he probably shouldn't have said it, but it's true. Republicans in rushing the tax bill to passage kept they were killing the individual mandate and thereby removing the engine that made the Affordable Care Act work. In doing so, he threw the health care system into chaos without offering any remedy. And Trump just claimed paternity of the destruction. Trump, in a cabinet meeting earlier Wednesday, let his fleeting encounter with honesty get the better of him. When he read aloud the stage directions that called for Republicans not to advertise that they were killing Obamacare. Obamacare has been repealed in this bill. We didn't want to bring it up, he said. I told people specifically, be quiet with the fake news media because I don't want them talking too much about it. Because I didn't know how people would. Trump didn't finish that thought. But he could admit what he what had been done. Now that it's proved, with those admissions now on tape, Trump has officially claimed full ownership of the health care system for himself and fellow Republicans. Whatever it is now, or isn't, is Trump care. Here are some of its features. Premiums for most popular health insurance on the individual market exchanges are estimated to rise 34% on average next year, according to the consulting firm Avalere Health. Because of previous sabotage done by Trump administration, premiums in Iowa, Iowa would be up 69%, Wyoming 65%, and Utah, 64%. Damn, white people are gonna get hit. Employer-based health insurance costs are forecast to rise in 2018 by the most since 2011 at 4.3%, according to the human resources consulting firm, MRSA. And overall medical costs will be up 6.5%. Uh, 6, 6 the first increase in the rate in three years, according to the consultant firm, PWC. Assuming those increases are passed along to workers, they will eat up half of the $910 tax cut received next year by households with incomes between $55,000 and $93,000. And all of the tax cut received by households earning $27,000 to $54,000. The more Trump claims to have done away with Obamacare, the more he owns problems in the healthcare system of his making or not says Drew Altman, head of Kaiser Family Foundation, an authority on health care and public opinion. Altman tells me Trump will certainly own responsibility for premium increases on the former Obamacare exchanges and for the up to 13 million who will no longer have coverage under the new tax plan. The new system also belongs to Republicans such as Senator Susan Collins, Republican Maine, who in exchange for her vote for the tax bill was hornswoggled into believing Congress will take action before years end on subsidies to stabilize the former Obamacare exchanges. That has not been put off until next year, and it will meet stiff resistance from Collins' fellow Republicans. This will be but one source of division among Republicans now that they have secured the tax cut, which was a rare source of unity within the party. And the main reason many GOP lawmakers who find Trump distasteful have stuck with him until now. Trump and congressional leaders walking along the White House driveway Wednesday afternoon to hail to the chief applauded GOP lawmakers around the South Portico. And the lawmakers applauded back. But soon they will be fighting about immigration funding, funding the government, cutting Medicare and attacking special counsel Robert Mueller. The divisions will only worsen if Trump continues to have bouts of unaccustomed honesty, as he did Wednesday. In addition to his confession about Obamacare, he also acknowledged that tax cuts 
supersede reform in the tax bill and that the biggest factor in this tax plan is to cut the corporate tax rate from 35 percent to 21 percent. Republican lawmakers had taken pains to describe their work as tax reform and asserted that it was primarily for the middle class. But Trump was correct. The legislation does little to simplify the tax code. It is primarily a windfall for corporations. Trump did not trespass long in the land of truth. He also renewed his claim that the tax bill is the largest tax cut in the history of our country. It isn't that, by a long shot, but it is many other things, including a huge shock to the health care system with no remedy in sight. And that is from the Washington Post, an interesting take on the tax bill. There's an old saying, beware of Greeks bearing gifts. When Repu Republicans are Greeks and when they bear gifts, you have to look for the knife underneath the box. Now, they did fight for some sort of tax cut to the middle class. Yes, they did. That's why it took so long to bring this out. They actually reduced the amount that they were actually going to give the corporations. So how did they make up the difference? They gutted your health care. So what little you get, you're going to give back. And the rest that you're actually going to, you know, over the long term, you're going to pay out is going to be by increased health care or lack of health care. And I think the health care systems are going to be afraid because basically what they're doing is they're killing the system. You're killing the, you're actually killing the dinosaurs, believe it or not. It may be rough and who knows? A lot of people may not survive this, but at the other end, it's going to be a more affordable health care system because they're going to have to go to cheaper models. They're going to have to go to automations and cost cutting through automation that they probably would not have had the legacy health care system that we now enjoy or not enjoy, whichever way you actually want to put it, is still in place. Uh, Carol quickly called that uh, creative destruction. Where one, si one system actually commits suicide or financial suicide so that the new system can rise. Institutions like the legacy healthcare system, even our political system, for lack of a better term, are committing suicide. And I think the Republicans are committing suicide. Maybe we'll get a new political system after the Dem Democrats and Republicans finish committing suicide. Who knows? But it's interesting beware Republicans bearing gifts because I've been inundated about what I think about the tax bill. And after many, many years of doing analysis, geopolitical analysis, I've learned that the, the demons and the devil are always in details. You can predict a influence. You may be able to pr predict a direction, but trying to read the breadcrumbs, the direction of breadcrumbs before they're laid is almost impossible. And now we're just starting to see what breadcrumbs are being laid. We had an idea about the direction earlier, about the amount of the tax cut, about the military budget, about what they said they were going to do with the budget. And I said before, the, the brunt of the budget is going to be borne on the poor more than the middle class. And they said, well, are the poor going to pay more taxes? I said, I didn't think they were going to pay more taxes. I think they were going to cut their benefits, which is something I said earlier this week. And it looks like it's going to come sooner than expected, because even though the, the tax cuts, the major tax cuts won't happen until maybe 2019, it looks like the insurance rates are going to go up in 2018. And uh, how we deal with that is going to be interesting. But for all you conservatives, good luck in this environment. You rugged individuals, take care of your health. Uh, it's time to probably time to go vegan. I think it's time for me to go on a diet and start taking care of my health, even though I have pretty good health insurance. But it's time to take better care of my health because uh, it looks like the Republicans are going to cut through whatever safety net still remains, even though the safety net's in tatters. All I can say to folks out there is buckle up. The ride may get rough. 
Who knows when this Republican time bomb is actually going to explode is what it is. But anyway, that's all I got for you fellas today. With that, I'm going to bounce out of here. I, I've been looking at my at the times of my videos. They're actually getting shorter. Let me know. Do you guys like the shorter videos or you guys like the longer videos? I know some people like my long videos. But uh, I might do a poll. I might do a poll. See what you guys think about whether the video should get longer or shorter. That might be interesting to see. Anyway, with that, I'm going to jump off of here. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.